The long-awaited replacing of the old TAFE at Heroes Stadium in Lusaka has started. So far, the contractor Sport TAFE has removed the old TAFE and is carrying out excavation works. Sports Minister Elvis Nkandu has inspected the works and is excited that Heroes Stadium will soon have the first ever hybrid playing TAFE in Zambia. We did a due diligence on the company that we have awarded this contract. Uh, we have seen what they have done in Pretoria, that is Loftus Stadium, and also another stadium in Cape Town. So we do expect a very beautiful TIF uh, in Zambia. Going by what we discussed, I think by February we may open the stadium so that we can have our own uh, home matches being played at Eros Stadium. I think that is the timeline. Kando is also happy that the ongoing rehabilitation of Hero Stadium has created employment for local people. It is just important for government to appreciate that uh, these are some of the opportunities that are coming uh, our way, especially uh, the, peop the people of Zambia. They are able to, they are able to be employed uh, by Hero Stadium through this contract. And the contractor, SportTEF, has pledged to deliver a quality TEF that is of international standards. It's built in a silica-based uh, uh, base. Now, what we're doing is to make sure that the grass doesn't move around is where the stitching comes in. So once that machine has uh, stitched the, the grass, this field is basically unbreakable. The replacement of the old TEF will cost 29 million kwacham. Prince Giuni, ZNBC News, Lusaka.